You guys already know I start off every vlog with a physique check-in. This is how we're looking right now, man. First thing, waking up, no food, no water, no pump, no good lighting. Right now, I am currently in Bangkok, and I'm about to hop on a flight to London in an hour, and I have a looks maxing documentary with some BBC producers that I'm gonna be a part of. So, I'm going to be vlogging this journey. So, I hope you watch this entire video, man. It will be very fun. I'm gonna be doing a meetup in London, playing basketball with some of my supporters, some of my followers. We might go out on a night out, and then I'm gonna train one of my clients. I've been training online for the past two years in person. And then overall, just explore London a little bit. So, it should be a freaking sick video, man. Let's get it. So the second I got to my hotel, I literally just crashed. It was like 9, 10 p.m. at night, so I had no energy whatsoever. Right now, I'm in the lobby. There's a breakfast buffet that I have full access to, but I'm going to wait a couple hours to binge on sausage, eggs, stuff like that. So right now, I'm just having some Americanos, getting some work done. So yeah, overall, it's a very productive morning so far. I have a call with the modeling agency in about an hour. So today, there's nothing on the agenda, so I'm just going to be vlogging everything today. And today i'm wearing some baggy pants a whole bunch of chains and compression tea so yeah that's it love you guys breakfast is finished i had two full plates of sausages and eggs and that's probably all i'm actually going to eat today and then i'm just going to drink a whole bunch of spring water when there is a free breakfast buffet and i am on a carnivore diet i'm gonna eat as much as i can right first thing in the morning for breakfast whole bunch of black coffees and that's it for the day man it's free and then i'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the day do some shopping do some walking so i'm gonna vlog everything and then tomorrow is my actual interview for the looks maxing documentary so that should be fun i'm kind of hoping man that they don't try to paint me in a certain light because you guys know how documentaries can do certain things you know but it's only going to really be airing in the UK, Channel 4, so it's not the end of the world if it does. It would just kind of suck. But yeah, guys, it's kind of interesting lately how like controversial I've actually been. You know, like I've been getting more hate than ever before on my channel, and I think it's pretty interesting. But one thing to keep in mind, you know that you are not doing something right if you are not black or white when it comes to whenever people love you or hate you because if you're not authentically yourself people will always just kind of feel neutral about you you don't want anybody feeling neutral about you like i don't want to create content and be like yeah austin he seems all right like i watch his videos every now and then i want you either love the shit out of me or you hate me. I'm the biggest douche you've ever seen. It's got to be just like that, man. Think of all the most successful people. Like growing up, I used to always look up to Kanye. He was one of my inspirations. And I love the way that he would just say things just to trigger people. I, I always thought it was so fun. And it created a cult-like following for Kanye West. He would have people who obsessively love him or hate him with a passion. And Donald Trump... Same thing, 6 9 Hamza, Hamza's a big one recently, and I think it's kind of strange when it comes to self-improvement YouTubers as well, like, how I don't really understand how a self-improvement YouTuber can be controversial, as long as they're not saying anything sexist, racist, misogynistic, I don't really understand how it can create controversy, but... It seems like it does, man, but whatever. I I'm going to be uh, vlogging today. I'm going to shop. There's an All Saints just down the road, so I'm going to see if I can find a dope shirt for my interview tomorrow. And yeah, guys, stay tuned today.
something I think most people would not expect about London is that most people are actually very fat here, man. A lot of overweight people in London, bro. The rest of Europe is quite skinny. I was just in a health food store for like 30 minutes, man. I always get lost in health food stores. I fucking love them so much. But I got some fluoride-free toothpaste because mine tastes like a grandmother's vagina. And I got some uh, rosemary oil for my hair as well. So, yeah, that's it. There was a time in my life when I would only shop at American Outfitters, but now, man, the stuff sucks. It just looks like you're homeless. I'm not gonna lie. So, now I'm on my way to All Saints. Let's see what they got, bro. I've just been shopping for the past couple of hours. Have not found anything that I love, so I did not actually pick up anything. So I'm just gonna get some more exercise, walk back home soon. I did forget to mention whenever I was at the health food store, this like Spanish goth girl started hitting on me. That was pretty funny, so yeah, happens everywhere, bro. I'm back, I got a little bit of food. First of all, check this shit out. Oh, I'm very lean at the moment. And I'm just going to show you what snacks I got. I'm on a carnivore diet right now, like I mentioned. So I got some eggs, some tomato with mozzarella cheese, a keto cookie. I got ham and beef slices, a big block of brie cheese. So I'm just going to eat this stuff, work all day. Honestly, I'm super jet lagged and I kind of got the gist of London. So I'm just going to be chilling most of the day. And then tomorrow, obviously, I have a big day waking up early, got the interview. Then I'm doing a meetup with my subscribers. We're all going to put basketball and then we're doing something else in the evening. And then Thursday, I got to film some more. So today I'm going to kind of conserve my energy. So yeah, let's get it. So I just finished eating. Now I'm just going to go downstairs, work for the rest of the day for like nine hours straight. Um, but yeah, I'm actually very, very extremely sleepy and jet lag, but uh, if I nap, then it'll just throw off my entire sleep schedule, so I gotta push through it, and then crash at a decent time, and then wake up, and then I got a long day, so, yeah, yeah. They crashed pretty early last night, so now I'm back in the same place, got my Americano, and in a couple hours, I'll eat some more breakfast, but for the time being, I'm just gonna wait until 10.30 a.m. right now, it's 7.00 until I'm being picked up to go to the interview for this documentary. Stay tuned. I'm just filming some more content. We were just doing a little mini street interview with some of these awesome guys. You just want to introduce yourself. Hello, Ben. How's it going? So, yeah, we're going to play basketball. Yeah, yeah. So, we just did the interview for about one hour. Now, we're all about to go play basketball with my subscribers. It's going to be my first ever meetup, so this will be pretty sick, man. And, yeah, I'm very excited. We signed boys. Yeah, what's up, George? Oh, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Alright, this is London meetup. Filming for the doc here. Hey, we're filming a documentary. Would you mind answering a couple questions for it? Uh, well, questions? Uh, ba basically, just talking about attractiveness for men. Okay. Just yeah, basic cool. ones. Yeah. yeah. Alright, would you prefer like a tall, unattractive guy or just like average? Or like a shorter but very handsome man? Short, handsome. Short, handsome? Yeah. How much do looks matter for men? I guess it's like half, half, a bit less than half, I guess. What else matters? How you walk. How you walk? Yeah. What you How do you want a man to walk? Like confident. Confident? Yeah. Okay. Um, and what about style? What's the best style for a man to wear? From this shop. From this <laughs> shop? I don't think a man can wear there. these no, clothes. No, there's no uh, women's clothes. Wear, but there's like a men's shop over there, I guess. There's a men's shop. One, yeah. Okay, that one. Your favorite trait in a man, the most attractive trait you could possibly ever have? Someone that actually listens. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. I think people neglect that. Yeah, but not just like listen, just to listen, like actually listen. Yeah, right? yeah. And you can feel when someone's actually listening versus faking it, you know. Yeah. What about a man who cares too much about his appearance? He's very vain and that's all he cares about. Red flag. Red flag? <laughs> no interest. Why is it a red flag? It's just not attractive, I think. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's too obsessive, right? I think it's one of those where it's like if you care too much about yourself, I think that takes away a bit. Like, yeah. It's like people that think they're too pretty. Yeah. I feel like that takes it's the prettiness away. Yeah. What's the perfect height for men? You, you can build your perfect guy. Was, how tall is he? I mean, I'm quite tall. Okay. So I guess something. 
I'm 5'9", 175. Okay. Okay, that's quite ideally, ideally, someone that's a tiny bit taller than me, but realistically, it doesn't matter that much. Okay. I'm never going to not be with someone because they're short, if they're amazing, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, what about like an insanely attractive guy like Brad Pitt, mm -hmm. but his personality is absolute trash? Versus the most average guy you've ever seen, but he treats you like a princess. Second, hundred percent, hundred percent. I don't care okay. about Brad Pitt. Look, I don't care. Nah, okay. it would make me feel insecure as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things. Where it's like I don't want to be with someone that like everyone's going to turn around to look at. In the yeah, street. yeah. All right. What's your guys' names? Hey, I'm Kaden. Kaylin. Sam. Sam. All right. So, would you rather have a tall, average-looking guy or a short, very handsome guy? Short, very handsome. Tall. I need someone taller than me. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's the perfect male height? Mm, anywhere above 5'9". Gotcha. Anywhere above 5'7". If you could choose the perfect height? Oh, I'd say 6 foot, but six like foot. That's, that's high standards. Yeah. 5'11". Okay. 5'11". Okay. Alright, what about a very attractive guy, he has the worst personality ever, or a guy who's super sweet, treats you like a princess, but other girls don't like him, and he's very average? Personality yes. wins. Personality wins. Personality wins. Okay. Every time. Let's say a guy is tall and average on the face versus a guy who is short, but he is very handsome. Which guy would you choose? Height doesn't matter to me. I'd say, I'd say, yeah, short. Okay. I'm going short too, short? which maybe taller. What's the ideal male height? You get to choose it, whatever whatever it is. Maybe like 5'9". Okay. Five five nine. Nine. Five nine. Five nine. Five I don't care much. As long as I'm like 5'8". Five, five okay. so, yeah. you, you ideal okay. height? Yeah, but I would say I would say it helps to be my height. Your height, at least. Okay. How much do looks matter whenever it comes to choosing somebody? Like, let's say somebody is super attractive. He looks like Brad Pitt, and he has a terrible personality, versus someone average looking, but his personality is very sweet. He's the best guy ever. No personality. I know that's a boring answer, but I'm sorry. Yeah, personality. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going personality. Yeah, personality. I would go for personality. Yeah. What do you guys think of a man overly obsessed with his appearance? Like, that's all. He thinks it's the only thing that matters, nothing else matters. That really pisses me off. It pisses you off? Yeah. Okay, how do you feel about that? I agree, I think no one should feel that way, and it's not healthy for anyone. Okay, there we go. You? It's, it's a red flag, but it's to be explored. It's not like an immediate no. <laughs> it's not an, There's a community, it's called the Black Pill, and all these men, there's like millions of them, they think that looks is the only thing that matters. And I think it's a bit extreme. I mean, to be fair, like if women have makeup, what do men have besides like looks maxing? Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. See, there we go. What do you think? Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with caring about your appearance. Yeah. Um, obsessing over it, that's different. Yeah, obsessing over it. Yeah. Like, how can we take care I, like, of your looks, I, becoming I more attractive? I love wearing makeup, and I think if, like, guys want to, that's, like, totally fine, too. And, and like, if they want to, you know, watch it or whatever, looks max, whatever that even means, sure. But it's a different when they're obsessed with it. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like looks maxing is just a way for men to say they want to care about their appearance without like yeah, it threatening their masculinity. If they were like, I want to wear makeup, people might judge them about that, but to say I want to look max or something in that category, maybe they won't get judged. If you had to build your perfect dude, what would it be? Like height, face, jaw? Yeah, magical <laughs> He's about to go in. Um, I think more about the person not. Maybe like yeah. people think that I'm lying or like that we're lying. I feel like that happens. They can a lot. attest. We can attest. They can attest. I do. Yeah. All right. I have one more question. You get to choose one trait. It's the most attractive, sexiest trait in a guy. What's the trait? And you can include looks. Like we'll say that's a trait. Most attractive look thing, and then just overall trait. Yeah, I think looks, I definitely would notice the face first, like, before the body. And then, what was the other category? Personality? Yeah, yeah. It's a trait. Um, like, so, like, sociability, like, just ability to, like, hold a conversation and be interesting. Okay, so, like, charismatic? Yeah. Confident. Yeah, Riz. Okay. <laughs> I would say the smile is probably the most important to me. Smile And the most, the trait, I would say kindness is really important. If someone's not kind, then they're not good. Right, you're up. Um, for looks, I don't go for looks too much, but at the same time, I always go for guys with dark hair. Dark hair. So that. What about the dark hair does it for you? I don't know. <laughs> I just you like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then personality is that I guess kindness. I don't know. Kindness. That's a boring. Answer. Say there's a tall guy, and he has an average face. Would you rather go out with him, or a guy who's shorter and very handsome? taller because I'm quite tall. How important are looks to you? Like, do you want to be with someone attractive or does it not really matter to you? I want to be with someone I'm attracted to because I feel like if you're not attracted to them, there's a barrier there. Yeah. Um, obviously, I care more about personality and if we get along, but 
they sh I feel I, I like them to be attractive to me yeah what are the most attractive features in a man to you and not just like the overall aesthetic but like jawline abs do you want him to be really muscular what's the most attractive I like their eyes like eyes. eye color especially in the what sun kind of eyes? I like like blue eyes blue eyes okay. yeah um, also jawline green yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say jawline? Jawline and also hair. What kind of hair? I like like mullets. What oh, mullets? This oh, guy's for you. <laughs> I have a good mullet and like a tash. A tash? Oh. Yeah. When you, when you okay. say jawline, you can't what's grow Premium jawline. <laughs> like sharp. Sharp? Like could cut bread. Yeah. <laughs> what about his jawline? You have a nice jawline. That's good. Have you cut bread with your jawline? Tons of bread. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looks maxing. There's a trend online of men trying to look better looking, uh -huh. but a lot of them get very hyper fixated on it, and they think it's the only thing that matters. What do you think? I, I get like you want to be the best version of yourself, yeah. but looks shouldn't be the only thing that matter. Because I mean, if it, they they're not a nice person, if they're mean and rude, then why would you want to spend time with them? Yeah, that makes sense. One more question, just for fun: okay. male model physique or the dad bod, which ones? Or the bodybuilder physique, which one out of the three? Male model physique. Why the male model physique? I just, I just think it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> I choose a girl to ask for the interview, basically, if she's giving me choosing signals. Like, a, What's a choosing signal? So a girl will look at you, and if she smiles, and she seems receptive to you, then she'll want you to speak to her. But if she seems closed off, starts walking the other way, she probably doesn't want you to come up to her. Yeah. So if she's giving you nice signals, this means that you probably go up to her and be nice to her, you know? What yeah. do you think of that, Felix? Have you learned these these tricks of the trade in your... I have watched a lot of videos on it, to be honest, but I, I think implementing it... Yeah. Should give it a go. Are you happy to approach your lady? I'll give it a go. You're going to give it a <laughs> go? Right. Would you rather a short, handsome man or a tall, unattractive man? A tall, average, slash unattractive. To average? Yeah. But if you had to pick any ideal height, what would that be? Maybe like 6'2". <laughs> 6'2". Six two. Six two. Is my friend here tall enough for you? How tall are you? Um, I'm only 5'6". You're not 5'6". I am. 6'6". 6'6". 6'6". You're not 6'6". Six, six. Oh, okay, you are 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah, he's tall enough. Yeah? Yeah, no problem. Um, so, we've gone through height. How would you picture your ideal man, just in general? I love, like, I'm a lesbian, but, like, I would definitely, like, sleep with, like, Bradley Cooper. Like, he's my ideal. Yeah. Like, like tall, I don't know why. I think, like, muscly, like, a bit rugged. Bradley Cooper. Why. And he's not feminine looking at him. How about Austin Wayne? That's Who's me. he? <laughs> Who is he? Oh, is this you? That's me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> If oh I was God. straight, <laughs> yeah, you'd be perfect. Oh guys, we're done filming for the day. What do you guys think about today? It was, uh, yeah, great. Pretty yeah? yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to film my skincare routine, basically, and then we're done for today. Then tomorrow I'm going to train Jaden in the gym. And yeah, I'll keep vlogging. Let's get it, man. I ate the breakfast buffet once again. I had my Americanos and just got a whole bunch of work done this morning. I edited another video that will be uploading in a couple of hours. Now I'm actually on my way to a modeling agency. I'm in the Uber on the London Bridge. And so now I'm just gonna wait until I get there. I was actually scouted yesterday during the basketball scene of the documentary and they wanted to see me in person. So I'm like, all right, it's my last day in London. Let's go do this and see what they got to say, man. So yeah, this should be pretty sick. Back at the hotel, the whole modeling thing went super well, so I just took some photos, filled out some documents, so I'll hear back within a week. So maybe I'll move to London for a little bit, who knows, man. But now, I'm just back at the hotel, I'm gonna pack all my stuff, then I'm heading to the gym to train my client. I've been training online for the past two years, and we're gonna do it in person, and then it's gonna be in the documentary, so it's gonna be freaking sick. And then after that, I'm just gonna have all my stuff, and then I'm gonna pretty much leave London, probably find a cafe to hang out for a couple of hours. Because, yeah. like, Austin can be. Austin can be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, coming around. What's up? If you're facing. All right, guys. We're at the gym. We're about to do the training session for the documentary. So yeah, that should be pretty sick. The thing is, I'm just not that disciplined. Like, I get to. I, it will make sense to me, and then it hits like six, seven o'clock, and it's yeah. like, no, I would like that drink. <laughs> I would like that meal. 
You know, only eating meat, it's actually very filling. Is it? Yeah. I'm officially done filming now. I'm at this cafe. It's got an herbal tea. So I have about an hour and a half until I have to leave my flight. But this place is about to close, so I'm just about to switch to a different cafe. Shoulder until 5.30. Then hop in the taxi and catch up flight. Back home in Bangkok, I'm super out of it. Just all this traveling is really starting to get to me, but I'm here for another week before I leave to the next country once again. I think the documentary went very well. I think being interviewed and I, I actually really trashed the black pill because it's so toxic, it's so negative. And I'll give you a great example, man. So I posted my meetup with my subscribers and the photo of all of us just hanging out playing basketball. And the only comments on this are people talking about who is the most attractive, talking about our heights. It's like, bro, you got to touch some grass. That's not a healthy mindset to see a cool photo of me with my subscribers. I've been posting for like three years now. So it's a really cool thing for me. And all you guys give a fuck about is attraction, is height. It's like, dude, touch some grass, get outside. Like. Whenever guys are friends in real life, anything like this, it's not healthy to be comparing yourself to other men, to be just in that mindset of, oh, who's taller? Who mocks? It's like, dude, you got to chill. You cannot think about this stuff too much. And that's exactly what I say in the documentary. I say that the black pill obsesses about this. And you saw with the interviews, man. Women hate guys who obsess about their appearance. Being too obsessed about it is one of the most negative traits you could possibly have. But looking as good and as handsome as possible is very very important but you can't be just all in this completely obsessed man like do what you can naturally focus on the other aspects of your life and just live a normal healthy life and if you can't do that this channel is probably not for you man i i love mental health i love just becoming the best version of yourself and you're not going to become the best version if all you give a shit about is looks this is the only thing in your life you care about because life it's so much deeper than this, man. We're all going to get old. We're all going to lose our looks. I'm going to get old. I'm not going to look as handsome. I'm going to shrink with age. We all are. So at the end of the day, we've got human connection. We have interaction. We have love. These are the things that really matter at the end of the day. You guys say, oh, looks is all that matters. I really don't care, man. I think it's very important. Obviously, it's one of the most important things for this very superficial life. But try to get deeper than that. I freaking beg of you, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. But anyways, if you're new, please subscribe. If you're an OG, I love you with all my heart. And all the new guys, I love you too. But yeah, that's it. Peace.